Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 17th of January, Wednesday of the week of Epiphany 2. Oh, I love common sense when it cuts against the grain. Peter T. Forsyth, 1848, 1921. You hear it said with a great air of religious common sense that it is the man that the modern age demands in the pulpit and not his doctrine. It is the man that counts, not his creed. But this is one of those shallow and plausible underparts which is blandly offered to the arduous whole. No man has any right in the pulpit in virtue of his personality or manhood in itself, but only in the virtue of the sacramental value of his personality for his message. We have no business to worship the elements, which means in this case to idolize the preacher, to be ready to accept any kind of message from a magnetic man is to lose the gospel in mere impressionism. It is to sacrifice the moral in religion to the aesthetic, and it is fatal to the authority either of the pulpit or the gospel. The church does not live by its preachers, but by its word. The prayer from Martin Luther, I have had this prayer hanging on my wall in sacristies every year that I was a full-time pastor. Lord God, Thou hast placed me in thy church as a pastor. Thou seest how unfit I am to fulfill this great and responsible office, and had it not been for thy aid and wisdom and guidance, I would long since have brought everything to destruction. Therefore, I do cry unto thee most willingly, do I desire to give and conform my mouth and heart to thy service. I desire to teach the people and long continually to be taught thy word. Deign to use me as thy workman, dear Lord, only do not thou forsake me. For if thou forsake me, I alone shall bring it all to naught. Amen.